Some of you might have heard that Korean viewers of Twitch has been watching only 720p resolution screen quality since a couple of months ago. And very recently, in November 9th, 2022, Twitch Korea has announced that Twitch bot will no longer service the Korean viewers from December 13th, 2022. This is a big thing since a lot of viewers aren't supposed to catch the stream. They tend to watch the bot usually. As you can see the bot view counts and follower counts compared to real time viewer count. Well, of course it affects to a lot of streamers too since bot ad revenues will be cut off. Their past stream storage which is up to terabytes of space are gonna disappear and everlasting clips to promote themselves will vanish. Okay, you get this is a big issue. But how did it happen? It seems like there are multiple reasons behind this and surprisingly, it seems to be Twitch has no fault in this despite the criticism they are having these days. The biggest reason of this happening is the Korea government itself. And partially, the Korean big three internet provider companies. And also, partially, thanks to the Korean viewers ourselves, which includes me. The most popular reason is the network usage fee. This is completely different from the internet connection fee that you normally pay. We normally pay money for the internet we use to the internet providers a monthly internet connection fee. However, Korea internet provider companies are demanding additional network usage fee. This is an additional fee which makes us to pay additionally as much as we use the internet. What about it? All the internet related companies including YouTube and Twitch need to pay more money whenever they are providing their content to their customers. So for example, whenever you turn on a video, Twitch has to pay additionally to the internet provider companies. And moreover that, not only internet provider companies are asking for network usage fee, but also Korean Big Boy Government Congress is backing this up with a new law implement. This has been never done in any country rather than Korea. Secondly, in Korea, we had a shameless incident called the Ant Room. To summarize the incident for you, there was a digital s crime case in which illegal pornography was created, traded, and distributed through a group chat room opened on Telegram. So our good old government thought, hey, we should tell all big SNS stream platforms to have brand new filtering technology system to prevent porn distribution. Which sounds great, but no financial support was given. So the platforms needed to pay their own money to develop a new filtering system just for Korea. However, it seems like Twitch decided to erase the bot system itself instead of making the filtering system. Last but not the least, we have the Korean third party donation system issue. Third party donation is a complete different system off from Twitch, which Twitch doesn't get a cut. The only donation system where Twitch can have a cut is the subscriptions and the beats. In Korea, people tend to donate never through the beats. However, Korea also have infamous video donation system which is very popular among streamers. Which is of course the third party donation system. Even though Twitch has allowed this third party system, Korea uses too much third party system compared to how much traffic it takes. Hence, it looks fairly reasonable for Twitch to take down the boss system, but it seems pretty critical and sad for Korean viewers and streamers.